doubt on Kmon. Kmon okay. having a fantastic field phase, a good Darkrai. Mm -hmm. Very evolved Darkrai. Kind of um, the closest playstyle, I believe, would be like every damn day. Okay. Like very patient, not quite like Jin patient, where you just intentionally stay in field phase a lot. Mm -hmm. um, like what Kmon does is if Kmon realizes that net stops what you're doing, he'll actually transfer and confirm into dual phase combos. Okay. Jin, regardless of who you are, will stay in field phase for as long as he can. Okay. And Oreo just going to sneak right up on behind him there. Taking that face shift. Has him in the corner. Oh, I'm just going to shift him right back. Yeah, a, lot of, a couple of characters can do that CADC on it if you do it at that, at that point. Yep. Mewtwo oh, having uh, no. oh, some slow. Oh, wait. Who, who, who won that trade? Because who, who actually won that trade? I want to say Mewtwo did because meter, yeah. All right, based on meter management, Yeah, probably. I'd say Mewtwo probably did. Gonna go for the double buff with that attack defense and that rage. That's a lot of damage. Oh, oh, oh this no. is gonna hurt. Like this is gonna hurt a lot. Oh wait, okay. Yep. He intentionally goes into it. He has the attack yep. and defense buff. Can he realize that he can put net down, uh, on the, or at least the ceiling net, or use these traps? Oh, which side is he on? This ain't Street Fighter. He's right behind this, you. This, this isn't Blanca. <laughs> oh, is he dead? He's dead. Yes, sir. It's dead, it's dead. <laughs> That's a lot. It's like that and bug bite, dude. Like, if they got 30 HP and they hit that on you, it's over. For sure. Is there a minimum scaling on those grads? I think bug bite does minimum 30. I'm not 100% sure about that, but I know I've never seen Dream Eater do, like, less than 50, but I don't know. Ooh, I like that a lot. Staying in the air long enough to outlast the CA. But Oreo, knowing exactly how Kmon plays, decided to stop short and go for the grab. Magic Craft's going to prevent Oreo from pressing yep. the air button like that. There. But the thing is, that's, that's, that's not a bad situation. You yep. didn't give him any advantage, really. That, you are a bit slow, but you got the crit right there. You got the crit. You got Mewtwo has the tools to approach really quickly, even with a speed debuff. On top of that, dar dar the Darkrai not being in nightmare mode makes it a little difficult, but he's going to shift him right back into field. But Oreo does have uh, Pachirisu, which he's probably going to activate uh, when he gets a little closer. Yeah, I think in dual phase. Or actually, he's I probably going to wait out the burst first. Probably. Oh, okay, never mind. I there he goes. Like oh. <laughs> that's actually a very good um, uh, thing to do. Too far away for burst to confirm. Yep. Keeps him far away. It basically avoided the burst completely. Yep. Or all of synergy and all that chip damage that mm -hmm. comes with it. The only real downside, I feel like, is sacrificing his gauge a little bit. But it looks like it's not a big deal. I don't think he Crap. even... Oh, that's... No. Oh, I, I, was he close enough to actually grab? I think so. But came I don't know if the grab would have even punished, though. He, I know he would have at least mashed 8Y, because that's what it looks like he was doing. Yeah, for sure. Oh, it's going to beat out the vulnerability frames on barrier. All right. And he's going to go for patch. He can't do anything, but he has to approach this. and. Oh, oh the reverse not enough, though. the counter attack. Not enough, not enough. Oh, oh my god, the 6X. The 6X from deep. Oh I expected a drill of some sort. Then stay I'm up. having... I'm having flashbacks to internets. <laughs> I'm having flashbacks, dude. Oreo the 6X God. Please. How does he know? He just... I feel like he feels in the situation, if I don't do it right now, I would lose anyway. So it's a... I mean, yeah. At this point, there's zero risk because it's well, either he I lose or I lose. Yeah, but he could have also dash up grab, you know? I mean, maybe. Like, he could have dash... I mean, I think he had enough time to dash up, and then if Kmon jumped, he could have reacted with something. If he didn't, he could have tried to rear grab. I don't know. Oh, hitting with the tiny bits of the portal. Puts him in the corner. In the corner, in nightmare mode, against Darkrai. With Magikarp. Oh, but the Pachi is going to help him out a that lot. That was amazing, but unfortunately, he was able to recover faster. Yep. Here we see Kmon keeping him at bay efficiently. With that efficient or, or, zoning. Oreo, like, in, like, just went, oh, let me just instant air dash and realizes he can't with the net up. He's going to go for burst right now to just try to close the distance. But we have an attack oh. and defense bo boosted um, uh, Dark Rise, yep. so this is going to be a bit. Oh, oh, is he off the ground? No, he he's is not. not off but the he ground. does have the defense, defense buff. Okay, he said 241 with the defense buff. That's what, 30%? So that's about 190 ish? 180 ish? Or 69? 271. 469, 270. Oh, so 198. Oh! Oh, goodness. Beautiful job. Beautiful, perfect block. Now he can't go for these. With the patch of Isu. And all of a sudden, Oreo is looking dominant right now. I don't think that was a good time to patchy if he's not going to do this just for approaching. Yeah. You want to kind of use it uh, when he's a little bit closer and then try to keep it away so the only thing you really do is grab reversed. Oh, oh, but. It looked like it worked out for him at least. 
Gonna hold all that chip. Ooh. Oh, and the side strike. You don't see that very often from Oreo. Oh, no. Oh, oh but it didn't matter. Yeah. Still didn't matter. Still got it. That's like the fourth time this like round, this game one. He's just barely he, whiffed the hyper beam. Yeah. It's like just a little bit off. But if that was, if that was Chandelier, that, that's some beam privilege right there. Yeah, beam. Where like, like an extra 50% of the hitbox <laughs> that you don't see is still part of the hitbox. My oh, man oh, said oh, beam oh, privilege. Oh, I'm done, bro. <laughs> Going into game number two, Oreo taking it by a sliver of life. Oreo's, Oreo always manages to scrape it by every time, but he, yeah. he consistently right. scrapes by. Oh, if he just let it rip, though. Oh, there are a lot of times Oreo should just let it rip. Yeah. But if you always let it rip, it's always expected, and then mm -hmm. you can't keep people on their toes. Because if people expect it every time, um, and you can like let it rip and people go, oh, he's just going to cancel it. Yep. And I think right there we just saw the new 6YX Just Frame. I know it gives him some meter. I know the new patch giving, making Just Frames give meter for actually both these characters. I think it helps Mewtwo out a lot, especially since he has difficulty getting meter. It helps him get a little more reliably. You can use a little more of your synergy consuming moves with less worry about, you know, not getting burst by round three. But Oreo, while let's, I'm let's, saying this. Let's be honest here. Togekiss Mewtwo is really burst Mewtwo. Oh, yeah. Let's be completely real. <laughs> it's the actual burst Mewtwo. too. But he is using Pachirisa for right, this matchup uh, specifically. Uh, usually, oh god, he tried going for a forward line. Yep. I actually, I'm one of the naysayers to Magikarp in field phase just because of that reason. I feel like there's too many ways to lose it without getting to use it. Certain characters you can use it in where they don't have a single hitting phase shifting move besides grab. Yep. Ooh, intentionally keeping it. Focus Blast, Oki. Oh, but Ooh. using the 8Y to get out from below. Mm -hmm. He's either go for the grab, covers the 8Y option as well. Yeah. So it is a dual purpose move. Go to the Patchy. Patchy does not block that, though. And he is going into Bad Dreams Rising with Burst on deck if he needs it. And he's not going to try to close it out without. He says he wants the safety. Pulling out all the stops. Magikarp, Bad Dream Rising with Burst. What's Oreo going to do to handle it? I think Oreo's just going to keep blocking and wait. Yep. Ooh, catches the jump. Ooh, and he confirms. Ooh, combos Magikarp. Oh, Ooh, and the, and six the 6X. X again. How does he know? The 6X oh, he God. He knows. Oreo, the 6X God. <laughs> He's going to be so mad at me for calling him that. <laughs> oh, oh, that's the grab. No bueno. I felt a grab. I honestly didn't know from which player, but I felt like one of those players was going to grab. Whichever one it did took the round. And hovering that thumb over the uh, the jump in the light. Mm -hmm. So both players shooting shot at each other in field face, but again, Mewtwo's forward Y is pretty good for a lot of situations where. Like uh, that one. Oh, there's the grab. That's a lot. There's the grab you were feeling like five minutes ago. Yeah. yeah, yeah <laughs> right. Someone's going to grab it. Just, just, just took a little time. Hindsight's 20, 20 right? Yeah, I knew that was going to happen. That is oh, not... Oh, but yeah, Magikarp no. is, yeah. Shutting me up right there. I think he should actually just wait. Wait until he has full speed, then go for Patchy. Which is probably what he's going to do. Oh! The single hit. Ooh. But he's just going to pop burst. And he's, he's still slow, slow no! And came on, not I afraid. I didn't now, think he thought it was still slow. Mm -hmm. I wonder, is Kamon going to camp this out? I don't really think he has too much of an option. Oreo being fast. Oh, but Drill being safe. Sending him all the way back, and that's pretty much expiring his burst. Right. Yep. Didn't get to take too much advantage of it. But he does now have stage control, and that is a certain plus you cannot overlook. Even when people like use things such as burst, such as supports, and they don't really get any much damage off of it, it's still good to note the positional advantage or the neutral advantage they gain, even if it's not direct damage. Oreo lost his burst, but to be honest, both characters really didn't get much off that at all. It's still kind of an even game. However, we now However, have almost burst the dark ride. Seven ride seconds remaining. Oreo really has to get the good 6x here. But the oh, hard <laughs> good 6x here. Oh, oh that's going to do it. That's the set. What, what did Kamon throw his controller? I don't know. I'm not going to worry happened? about it. Not like throw like.